starting with the compressor that creates the flow of refrigerant through the air conditioning system. The gas is then compressed, which adds additional heat, and the high temperature, high pressure gas, is then forced from the compressor discharge port to the condenser. The condenser transfers heat to the air. This loss of heat reduces the gas temperature, where it naturally changes state to a liquid. The liquid refrigerant then passes to the gas liquid separator. The cooled liquid refrigerant flows to the expansion valve, where the high pressure of the refrigerant forces it through a small orifice or hole, ejecting the refrigerant as a mist that is then able to expand. The low pressure mist refrigerant now flows into the last component of the air conditioning system, the evaporator that the refrigerant absorbs this heat. It vaporizes and changes back to a gas. The heated gaseous refrigerant then flows from the evaporator and back to the compressor where the whole process starts again. We call this whole process the refrigerant cycle. The compressor creates the flow of refrigerant through the air conditioning system. The gas is then compressed, which adds additional heat, and the high temperature, high pressure gas, is then forced from the compressor discharge port to the condenser. The condenser transfers heat to the air. This loss of heat reduces the gas temperature, where it naturally changes state to a liquid. The liquid refrigerant then passes to the gas liquid separator. The cooled liquid refrigerant flows to the expansion valve, where the high pressure of the refrigerant forces it through a small orifice or hole, ejecting the refrigerant as a mist that is then able to expand. The low pressure mist refrigerant now flows into the evaporator that the refrigerant absorbs this heat. It vaporizes and changes back to a gas. The heated gaseous refrigerant then flows back to the compressor where the whole process starts again.